In this video, we will show you how to replace your blower motor resistor on this Ford Ranger. This will be located along the passenger side of your engine compartment. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. Along the passenger side under the hood, you're going to find your cruise control unit. We'll dislodge that by removing our one 10 millimeter headed mounting bolt, holding it in place. Once you've done that, continue on by swinging it aside. At this point, we have a clear view of the blower motor resistor all the way down in this area. It's fairly easy to gain access to. You will find that you have two locking tabs. There's one up along the top that you can fairly easy see. Down underneath, you have the same exact thing. We'll be using a pick for this. Just carefully make your way underneath the locking tab and gently pry it up. Just like that right there. We don't want to break that off. Now while doing this one, you also want to do the same to the lower one and then we can carefully pull this wiring harness out of place. Switch my picks here. We'll go with the shorter one up top because it's a little bit easier to get to. That one. Now that we have that disconnected, we'll just give it a quick inspection. Make sure you don't see any funny colors. If you do, that's corrosion and it would need to be dealt with. This one looks fine. Let's set that wiring aside. With that out of place, let's continue on to our two 8mm headed bolts that hold the resistor in place. Inspect that mounting hardware as you remove it, replace it as necessary. There it is, friend. Let's make our way down in here. We'll just clean up our area. Just a quick inspection on that. And now we can continue on with the installation of our brand new blower motor resistor. Make sure you have it in the proper orientation. Looking along the backside here where the connector is, you'll be able to tell that you have a smooth area, which would be up along the top. And then you have the notched area, which would be down along the bottom. Let's take this and carefully put it in position and start in both of our mounting bolts. There we are. There's one. Let's get this other one in there. Double check to make sure your blower motor resistor is seated properly and then continue on by snugging up the mounting bolts. Let's just make sure those are nice and snug. Okay, now it's time for our electrical connector. We want to pay attention to it. You will find that you have two tabs that should be over towards the passenger side here. We'll take this and slide it straight in. Listen for a click from the top and the bottom locks. Oh yeah. Give that a little tug, make sure it's nice and secure. Now we can start re-securing our cruise control unit. You want to pay attention to the bracket. This bracket will slide into the fender. Once you have that slid into the proper slot, we'll continue on with the one bolt up along the top there. Go ahead and start that in by hand and snug it up. Double check to make sure that's completely secure. Okay friend, we've got our vehicle back together. At this point, hop in the passenger compartment. 
start up the vehicle, and test the functionality. Aside from that, thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.